Thank you very much, Nicky. On behalf of Camorra, it's a pleasure for me to be here with my colleagues, Don Minock, the secretary, who is trying to persuade me that the flag up there is an awfully flag, but it isn't. Um, Bernard Brown, the chief executive, and Sean O'Doyle, our treasurer, who is possibly handing around the hat out there somewhere. Briefly, it, as I said, it's a pleasure for us to see such a gathering here in Monomalin. You have been magnificent in every parish and every crossroads throughout the county and indeed other counties. And as Nikki has said, it's wonderful to see the people from the neighbouring counties and in particular Clannacilty down in West Cork. And I think we should c congratulate them today and we've been at events all over. And uh, I will just finish on that and say thank you all very, very much indeed. Next, I will call on Nicky Horan to give a brief history of Edmund Hyde. A charge of an uncoupled foot loss. I am not going to do a whole lot of this life because I'm going to take a lot of time. But just a few brief things that you can see in the fourth song of our time of our time. Our time is in the church of Ireland and the mother of Parties or parties, because the land was so disturbed, and things were and places were burned, and the records were, were destroyed. A tragedy, I would admit, but that's the score, and we've got to stick with it. The second, second wife uh, was Mary Furlan of Dincombe, Dincombe, very bankrupt, just across the bridge uh, where the hospital now is. A captor arrested and lodged in the town in the market house in Gory with several other prisoners who were packed there by sardines. But following the remarkable, the remarkable and even almost ignored 
rebel victory against enormous odds at Tubbermere. He was rescued uh, from the, by Miles Horn and his men from the market house. Now, the Miles Horn and his men, Father John Murphy, Edward Fitzgerald, and they had captured Miles Horn. I just never <laughs> 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 <Hanging on Wexford. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> His body was recovered by his brother in law, Patrick Murphy, from the Deepen our desire in your gift of unity and make us eager to make new steps towards it in a spirit of hope. Lord, hear us. Very gracious we pray for all with a leadership role in the church, especially John and Brendan, our bishops. They will continue to guide us in unity, love, and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Even in good times, we should never take peace for granted. We ask God to give peace to the world, to our country, and to our communities. We ask it, God to give all of us, and especially the people of Northern Ireland, the gift of forgiveness, so that peace may become a reality on this island. Lord, hear us. Make our communities places of reconciliation, that all of us use our gifts and talents in the service of Christian unity. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We pray for all who have died, and especially the victims of violence in our country. Lord, hear us. We pray together on the words Jesus Christ taught us, as we say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. I now call on Mary O'Leary to sing for the moment. said, made a great effort to get here. Some have already been in Alcrum and only for him uh, we wouldn't have had such a commemoration. Um, I'd next like to thank the colour party in the band, whereas we all agree no march will be the same without him. I'd like to thank uh, all our sponsors and the people of the parish whose uh, generosity overwhelmed us, I think, when we uh, set out on this project. Um, I'd like to thank them all very much. Um, I'd like to thank, thank Father Murphy and Dean Leslie Forrest for a lovely ecumenical service. Um, I'd like to thank Nikki Furlong for uh, a very interesting uh, history of Esmond Kine. 
I think at this stage we all realise um, how great a hero and how important it was to um, commemorate him. Um, I'd also like to thank Charlie Cavanagh for his uh, contribution tonight. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Donald Millip, Sean Doyle and uh, Bernard Brown uh, for coming along tonight and thank you very much for all their help. Um, I'd also like uh, to thank um, our singers, uh, we had uh, Matt Murphy up in Mount Howard and Margaret O'Leary. Um, I'd like to thank Kevin Murphy and his men there for he was Kevin gave us great help with the parade uh, to marshal it. And lastly, I'd just like to thank the organising committee for all their help and uh, along the way that's been, they were very helpful and did a great job. Um, I'd just like to say, um, I think at this stage uh, we all have know all about Esmond Kine, but um, it is a fact that um, when Esmond Kine used to win, attend the United Irishmen meetings in the Macaulay Inn, he was uh, another man went along with him by the name of Henry Roach, and while uh, Esmond Kine was in jail in Gorey, um, Henry Roach led the men from Mount Howard and Monimalin out through Cro Clone Cross uh, to meet up with Father Murphy in Rahin Duff and they subsequently took part in the Battle of Ullert and many more battles along the way in the rest of the rebellion and many of them only returns to be buried in the graveyard here beside us. So um, uh, uh, that's all I'd like to say about that. Um, I'd just like to um, invite all the pike groups down to the school for tea afterwards and uh, when they are gone down I'd like to invite everyone else that there's plenty of food down there for everyone. Um, and there will be buses down there to provide uh, transport for anyone who wants to go back to Mount Howard for their cars. Um, I, I would appeal uh, to all the pike groups uh, to wait till the colour party leave the village first. And um, uh, I would then, uh, Braid Marshall will call all groups to attention uh, and we will have our honour from the band. Um, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'd now call on the band to play our on the <laughs>